gold in US dollar denominated terms is always up there as one of the top five traded products that we see going through the desk. Regardless of the geography or where you are in the world, it's always one of the most consistently traded products despite the reduction that we've been seeing in volata implied volatility. And there's this big dynamic that's playing through between both the short term and the longer term prospects for gold. And I think my attention was really brought uh, this week when we saw the US Treasury Department suggesting they were going to go and borrow $3 trillion from the debt markets in Q2 and then further $677 billion in Q3. And you try and, start, try and understand how gold prices will not work and, and, and materially appreciate in an environment where the deficit is blowing out. It's not necessarily going to create growth. We're talking about the inflation or deflation debate and what that means for real yields and how gold will will trade, trade in that, that dynamic playing through. And of course, you've got that big expansion of the balance sheet from the Federal Reserve. In the article, I lay out the uh, investment case for in a medium term and longer term time frame based on the number of variables that I just focused on there. So do click or take a look. But I think in the short term, uh, you've got gold prices trading on the 1738 down to sort of seven, uh, 1670 range. And you know, we're seeing price consolidate there. You can see the 20 and five day exponential moving average sort of moving perfectly sideways. So that you know, looks like it's missing a catalyst. And I think when you see a breakout in either direction, that needs to be respected. My gut instinct suggests that it's gonna to break to the upside, but at the moment, you're not really seeing too much clarity there in, in certain of the technicals. So we're waiting for that material break up or down. We've shown a fairly neutral positioning in technical land where we're trying to wait for the breakout and see how that goes out and, and respecting that. But look at positioning. You can see here the commitment of traders report, manage money on, on gold futures, sitting at 100, a net long position of 146,000 contracts just above the uh, the average line that we've been seeing since 2006. We're about half a standard deviation above that. So the market's long, but they're not specifically long where I'll be worried about over positioning or euphoria playing through. Another way to look at sentiment is going into the options market. And here what we can see is what we call risk reversal. So this is the skew of 25 delta one month call volatility and that trades at a premium of one vol over puts, which as you can see, is not particularly elevated. In fact, one month uh, implied volatility in gold is trading at a slight discount to one year volatility, which is not suggesting that we're going to see an imminent impulsive or, or powerful move up or down anytime soon. So trade them here with Pepperstone and do have a look at the article.